Nagaland. We have Mimi Village Cultural Troupe representing the Yumkyum tribe of Nagaland. Next, we have Intimate Youth Cultural Club representing Zialyam tribe of Nagaland. Next, we have Garo Cultural Troupe Dubagao representing the Garo tribe of Nagaland. We have Gyan Surang Furang Shali Cultural Troupe representing the Kachari tribe of Nagaland. And we have the Kuki Cultural Troupe representing the Kuki tribe of Nagaland. Thank you, cultural troops. Before we continue with the cultural program, on behalf of the government of Nagaland and the people of Nagaland, we would like to felicitate our chief guest and all our honored guests. Firstly, we would like to felicitate our chief guest, the Honorable Chief Minister for Arunachal Pradesh, Sri Pema Khandu. I kindly request our host, our Honorable Minister for Public Health Engineering and Cooperation, Sri Jacob Zimomi, to do the honors. Our chief, Our chief guest, guest is being felicitated with a Naga headgear. A Naga sash. A Dao. And a traditional Naga spear. Thank you. Our chief guest is also accompanied by the Honorable Speaker for Arunachal Pradesh Legislative Assembly, Sri Pasang D. Sona. I again request our host to do the honors. He is being presented with a traditional necklace and a sash. a frame, and a Naga Dao. Thank you, Thank you sirs. sirs. We also have in our midst Dr. Chetan Kumar Srivastava, the General Manager, North Frontier Railways. I request our co-host, Shri 
Kropel Witsu, the advisor for prison, printing, and stationery, to felicitate our guest. Our guest is also accompanied by his lady wife, He will also be given the Naga Dao. We would also like to felicitate the lady wife of our honored guest. She is presented with a Naga shawl and a bag of herbal products of Nagaland. Also joining us today, we have the DRM Prem Ranjan Kumar of the Northeast Frontier Railways. I again request our co-host, Sri Kropal Witsu, the advisor for prison printing and stationaries, to do the honors. Thank, Thank you, you, sirs. We also have in our midst Mr. Alessandro and Captain Raghu from the Adani Group. At this point of time, I would like to request our co-host, member of the Legislative Assembly, Sri Nuklu Tushi, to kindly do the honors. Sorry, since he's unavailable right now, I kindly request Dr. Nisatyo to do the honors. Dr. Nisatyo is also an MLA of Nagaland. This is Captain Raghu. Following Captain Raghu, we have none other than our legendary football player, Mr. Baijang Putia, here. He is being felicitated with Anaga Shaw. Thank you, sirs and ma'am. Indeed, it is a pleasure to have so many guests here this afternoon. I hope you sit back, relax, and enjoy the cultural program. Ladies and gentlemen, to begin with our cultural performance for this afternoon, 
First up, we have the Bandari Village Zechopan Cultural Club, representing the Lotar tribe of Nagaland. Please welcome them to the main arena. They will be performing a folk dance for us called Waro Jerhe O Jerhe. And dance that is inher inherited from the forefathers and performed by the people of Bandari village.
end of the harvest season. Of celebration is followed by feasting after the harvest and all the hard labor associated with it. The Bandari Village Zechopen Cultural Club representing the Lota tribe of Nagaland. Performing for you next, we have the Yongya Cultural Troupe Society from Longland representing the Palm tribe of Naglin. This afternoon, they will present to you the Weaver's Song. This traditional song is sung by the mothers while weaving. It talks about their weaving style and skills. The women or the mothers would sit alongside the children.
through this traditional song, the younger generations learn about the process of weaving. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the Vidak Bang Po, the weaver's song by the Palm tribe of Nagaland. Hãy subscribe cho kênh Ghiền Mì Gõ Để không bỏ lỡ những video hấp dẫn. 
Through the weaver's song, the mothers are able to teach the younger generations about weaving. Ladies and gentlemen, that was the Palm Cultural Troupe with their performance of the weaver's song called Vidak Pangpo. Ladies and gentlemen, next up we have the Pongkori village dance troupe representing the Pochari tribe of Nagaland. An indigenous game played by the villagers called Kape Lupe. This game is often played by men folk and peer groups during important occasions as a sign of friendship and merry making. In this game, the men folk line up to form a long chain. In bended position, they jump and pass over the one ahead of them in line. This game relieves physical pain, mental stress, and it keeps a person fit, healthy, and strong.
In other words, the Kape Lupe game is a game to keep a person healthy and fit. Ladies and gentlemen, that was the Pottery Cultural Troupe. In the month of March or April, when the fields are ready for sowing, the priest announces to the village that it is time for sowing. Ladies and gentlemen, performing for you next is a demonstration of a ritual called Shentaka, a ritual that is performed during the first seed sowing. This is the Kitaka Cultural Club, Chunlika, representing the Rengma tribe of Nagaland. An elderly, An elderly man who is believed to be a descendant of Keja Keno sows the seeds on a cement <laughs> stone. No Sumadona, no Kupila, and you took me hitty, Allah Fuad took me hitty, Naya, Apa Ami, Naya, Apa Aya Tokfua, Naya Miwahano, Naya Asuka Awatsada. Naya, a chunu dog in Mahiti, and you say, Alicia, she built in Mahiti. Aqua, Aqua, I look at Tiru Mapehitada. Ah, 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 the priest or the elderly man is believed to have the spirit <gasps> of <laughs> He is the first to sow the seeds. It is believed that when he sows the seeds, they will have a very, very good, good harvest. harvest. <laughs> After this is done, the villagers sow the seeds and sing, as we sow seeds on the ground, prevent the birds and rodents from taking away the seeds. Bless us with a bountiful harvest. Ladies and gentlemen, that was the Rengma Cultural Troupe with their performance called Shentaka a demonstration of a ritual performed during the first seed sowing.
Following the Rengma Cultural Troop, we have the Sangtam Sangli Cultural Troop from Tuensang, representing the Sangtam tribe of Nagaland. Today, they will be performing for you the warrior's dance. In the local dialect, this dance is called Atrungra Nichi. Head hunting, Head hunting was very prevalent in the ancient times. Fierce battles were fought even between the villages of the same tribe. When a warrior manages to bring an enemy's head, Praises, respect, and honor were accorded accordingly to those warriors. Interestingly, the warriors who brought home a woman's head were specially honored. This war dance is performed joyfully after every successful hunt or battle. Ladies and gentlemen, Atungra Nichi.
the Southern Cultural Troupe with the performance of Atrungra Nichi or the Warriors Dance. Ladies and gentlemen, next we have the Sumi Cultural Troupe performing the great hornbill song for us. They will be performing Ahato Le. According to Sumi legend, there was a man named Kiviho who turned into a hornbill for his inseparable lover, Kahuli. This song is about their never ending love.
The Great Hornbill Song, performed by Gokimi Cultural Society, representing the Sumi tribe of Nagaland. The Chotroli dance is performed by the young boys and girls of the Mek Kacharis during the Kerai Puja. The dancers would wave a pair of sword in their hands. This symbolizes that the women folk of the Kachari tribe are no less in terms of courage and valor. They would stand firmly along with the men folk to protect their motherland from the enemies. Ladies and gentlemen, the Gyan Surang Furai Shali Cultural Troop from Kushiabil Dimapur, representing the Kacharis of Nagaland with their performance of a folk dance called Chotroli.
the Kachari Cultural Troupe with their performance of a folk dance called Chotroli. Ladies and gentlemen, next up we have the Yim Kyung Cultural Troupe. The Yum Kyum Cultural Troupe is being represented by Mimi Village Cultural Troupe Kifiri. Hello. It is a game where three or more participate by crossing one of their legs to prevent people from touching the ground. <laughs>
This is a game played for merrymaking and enjoyment. Ladies and gentlemen, the Yim Kyung Cultural Troupe. Our last performers for this afternoon's cultural program are the Intimate Youth Cultural Club from Henning Kulwa, Perrin, representing the Ziliang tribe of Naglin. They will be performing the hornbill dance. This is I Ngao Marai Lim. This hornbill dance depicts the graceful movement of the hornbill bird while flying. This dance, or the I Ngo Marai Lim, is accompanied by a song. This song calls on the young boys and girls to get dressed in their best traditional attires and start dancing in various formations and movements just like the hornbill.
ladies and gentlemen, that was the Ziliang tribe of Naglin with their performance of the Hornbill Dance or I Ngao Marai Lim. Well, since we have a lot of dignitaries, guests, tourists, friends from Arunachal Pradesh and also from Sikkim, I would like to say Tashi Dulak. And for everyone else, thank you so much for joining us for the afternoon session of the cultural program themed Cultural Connect, brought to you by the Department of Art and Culture, Government of Nagaland. Cultural troops, amnigan nimide ekta announcement thagi wo. Holiwi utula agide sob mano halag rovule janai dia se. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Tomorrow, we shall be having again the cultural programs from 10 a.m. The afternoon session will begin at 1 p.m. Cultural troops, Ekbao Hunimi. Cultural troops. Cultural troops. Moromra Ekbao Hunimi.